Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 21322. This build includes a few notable changes and enhancements over the last few builds um, and indeed since the last build video. So let's dive straight in. The first thing I want to show you is an improved animation when opening and closing apps. You may remember in one of the last build videos I mentioned that the new animation when opening and closing apps was a little bit janky. It didn't seem complete and uh, in this build Microsoft has indeed fixed that. So as you can see, opening an app now looks nice and smooth as well as closing it. This animation is now much nicer than the existing one and I really, really like it. So yes, it works with Win32 apps as well as UWP apps there. But for some reason, it doesn't work for the Microsoft Edge browser. Microsoft Edge just seems to refuse to acknowledge the animation. It just pops open. Kind of rubbish, but there you go. This is, of course, a dev build, so nothing is final. But I figured I'd mention that in case Microsoft is watching and they hadn't noticed. So there you go, that's the animation. It's much improved and looks a lot nicer. Moving right along, the next notable change is with the clipboard, which if I've not shown this before, I think I have shown it, but the clipboard is now integrated with the emoji picker, uh, which this sort of design for the emoji picker showed up in a build in August last year, I think. So it's been quite a while and it still hasn't shipped. Regardless, it's in the dev channel still and this is what it looks like, looks kind of nice. And as I mentioned, of course, the clipboard is now integrated into it. It has been for a while, but I figured I'd just show it again just in case I haven't before. Anyway, the thing that's new with this build is that you can now paste this plain text straight from this clipboard UI. So before, the clipboard would save formatting, which is useful sometimes, but often not useful. Uh, so now if we open up, say, a WordPad document here and try to paste something, we can click on these three dots here and um, I, you would see a paste as plain text um, button here, but because the, I'm in the wrong AB testing group or whatever, it's not showing up. But here's a screenshot of what it should look like, uh, which is pretty nice. But yes, you can now paste this plain text uh, straight through the clipboard UI, which is quite nice. Now, one last change Microsoft is working on uh, with Windows 10 is with the touch keyboard. On a tablet, for example, with a screen size larger than 12 inches, you'll get a slightly different keyboard layout, this time including uh, some system key functions such as Control, uh, Alt, uh, the Start button, and indeed the voice dictation button down here. So that's quite nice. So those are really the only notable uh, new features uh, in the last few builds. They have made some improvements to this sort of widget thing that showed up in the last build video we did. Um, it's now the actual button is correctly sized on the taskbar. If you right click on the taskbar and go to things like uh, shrinking to icon only, you can do that and that sort of works as expected, although for some reason that sort of broke that down there. And uh, yeah, it's working quite nicely. No new functionality has been added. It's still the same thing, but it's looking nice and, and, and it's much more polished in this build, which is good to see. That's basically all the official stuff. Now let's showcase one unofficial thing that's working in this build, um, if you know how to enable it. Uh, if you go into the settings app here and go to battery settings, uh, you'll see that there's a brand new uh, sort of usage information graph down here that will show you your battery levels throughout the day as well as your battery usage, including average screen on and screen off time. So this is very similar if you have a smartphone, which I'm sure you do. Uh, your smartphone has something like this built right in and now it's coming to PC with Windows 10 as well. You see your battery capacity up here and it says, batteries age and become less effective over time. While this can vary based on settings, usage and other factors, the lower battery capacity compared to the original usually means shorter battery life. That's exactly how it works on phones and indeed how it works on PCs as well. So yes, this is a sort of nice usage thing that they're working on for Windows 10 and it looks quite nice. You get a nice little animation there when you click on it. And yeah, um, hopefully we see more of this sort of stuff in the settings app. I know they're working on a whole bunch of stuff which isn't in the build yet, but this is just one of the things you can sort of enable if you know how. But there you have it. That's a quick look at Windows 10 build 21322. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.